What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and hear what Hollywood stars have to say about Norway. I just happened to stumble on this video, and I thought this would be so entertaining to see what <laughs> random celebrities, when they're talking about Norway, I'm sure a lot of the celebrities have actually had an opportunity to travel to Norway, maybe to film or just to visit or whatever. But these are just a collection of random interviews where celebrities and Hollywood stars are going to talk about something, say something about their impression of Norway, which I think will just be hilarious or interesting or whatever. I have no idea what Hollywood stars think about Norway. They probably had pretty good experiences, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I'm, I'm fascinated to see. So, let's check it out. Norwegian sounds like a language that's spoken backwards. Huh? I was gonna... <laughs> what? <laughs> Norwegian sounds like a language that's spoken backwards. Norwegian sounds like a language that's spoken backwards? <laughs> what? Just because of how it sounds? I never thought of it like that. That's really blowing my mind. <laughs> okay. I was gonna... I was looking at Norway as a place to shoot it. I was in Lofoten. Norwegian fjords. Okay. Oh, okay. This is just the intro. Oh, when did you go? Oh, years ago, I was doing a picture, and uh, I was going to... I was looking at Norway as a place to shoot it. Oh, cool. We ended up... I'm sure a lot of stuff can be filmed in Norway. If it needs, like, beautiful landscape or otherworldly looking geography or something, beautiful scenery in Norway for making movies. Using Vienna more, but um, it, was, it was fun going up there. People were nice, hmm. and people were nice. Had a nice reception there. It was fun. That you have it here, folks. Clint Eastwood thinks Norwegians are nice. It's a beautiful sea oh, town. I've been to Norway. Nice. I've been to Oslo. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Who not really? beautiful place? In the oh, view, in, in the actual. Wow, in the this room is in great. The build, it's a gorgeous <laughs> place, and the buildings aren't bad to look at either. No, it's exactly. beautiful. <laughs> true, true. So Vince Vaughn, I feel like every celebrity is going to start saying, "Oh, I loved Norway," but I like how Vince Vaughn is like the buildings, man. The buildings are awesome, which is true especially compared to the stuff in the United States, which is way kind of behind the times. It's very true. Kirsty, but whatever. <laughs> Norway, it's the purest place I've ever been. Really? Oh, I love that place. Wow. Okay, you have to just say a little bit about that, because that's... Well, I mean, I was just saying that uh, I've never... I mean, in Norway, in, I was in Lofoten. Oh. He said the purest place he's ever been. So this is Zach Galifianakis, the purest place he's ever been. Like, the people are really genuine and nice. It's a pretty good compliment. There's no advertising. Nobody's trying to sell you anything. It's just... What? It's just pure. Oh. Wow. I never thought of it like that. Are they, Compared to the United States... Is there way less advertising? Or is there no advertising? In the US, there are advertisements everywhere, constantly, all the time. It never ends. Everywhere. Oh my goodness. I, I can't even imagine living somewhere. Uh, because I've had that my whole life. That's a really interesting observation. Don't forget to see Missing Link. <laughs> yes. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least you're not doing those back in the day. Uh, like, this. this is Kirsti Fla from uh, TV2 Norway and Prospian Red in Germany. I'm not very good in German, so we're going to keep it to English. <laughs> and I'm not very good in Norwegian, I'm sorry. That's good. Well, I, don't, I mean, that's it's in Norwegian. Yeah, this is two people who both, their first language is not English. Yet they can speak English so well. It sounds like a language. Oh, this is where he says 
Norwegian sounds backwards. Very good in Norwegian. I'm sorry. That's good. Well, I, don't, I mean, that's it's, uh, Norwegian sounds like a language that's spoken backwards <laughs> to me. It's oh, all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad she laughed too, since she is the Norwegian here. <laughs> I think he's trying to be funny. It's very up in the end. <laughs> Happy language. That's nice, though. That <laughs> yeah. Kind of... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Like the. The emphasis on words goes kind of opposite of what you're used to. Okay. No, no I told you not to do that. Uh, yeah. No. You're you're in you, you, you seem so innocent. Your you're good to go. First day covering for Norway. Yeah, let's talk about that. Why did you? Why? Why did you have to pick a Scandinavian villain? Well, I mean, uh, uh, yes, I told him not to. Well, Dwayne said, make the Scandinavian a hero. <laughs> But then you're, no. you wouldn't be the hero then. So. Yeah, and that would have been yeah. a better film. But Roland is amazing, <laughs> though. He'd be a great no, hero. Like it wasn't too. about Scandinavian, not Scandinavian. Um, it was no. about best actor. Yeah. And, and, uh... Okay, huh. so you were just talking about uh, Harold Swartz. I'm talking about my uh, my dear friend Harold Swartz and his, his wife, Fischl May, who I was fortunate enough to work with Harold in a picture called One Night at McCool's, one of my favorite comedies uh, that Harold did. And Harold and I are talking together about a uh, project that would be in Norway ah. um, involving or about the uh, Norwegian oil fund, which is a pretty amazing. Oh, about the Norwegian oil fund. I know about that. Wow. I'm learning something. I learned something. I actually knew for once. Uh, it seems like whenever these actors bump into this interviewer here, since they always say, oh, this is our interviewer from Norway. All the actors start talking about Norway. Organization. Yes, so you're going to film it in Norway as well then, obviously. We, we very well could be if we get the project together, absolutely. Oh. But that's enough about Harold and Veshla May. We have to tell you to talk about Ant-Man. We Thank have you very to. much. And he said that your biggest dream was to sail off the coast of Norway. You're, yeah, and you're right. And, and I didn't do it yet. I was this close last year to just go and... On. Antonio Banderas. His biggest dream is to sail up the coast of Norway. Honestly, it would, that sounds silly to people who don't know, but I understand why, because it's inc incredible. That would be amazing. But it is funny that his specific dream has to do with visiting Norway, and he's talking to her. A boat on the fjords, but, uh, but I didn't do it yet. Here's I have Steve to. Lyle from Norway? You yeah. Yeah, that you've the one, one of, yeah, one of my dreams is just to, just to sail um, on the Norwegian fjords. Uh, huh. uh, I, I don't know. The, uh, it's something that plays in my mind, maybe from some pictures that I have seen. Or some... He sounds serious. He sounds like he's actually passionate about visiting Norway. Point in my life that I, it's kind of a fantasy world. Um, there is something about those the, the rainforest over there and about the structure of the the thing that it, it just invites me to go. And I but I couldn't do it yet. And uh, maybe next okay. summer. Yes. I think I have to go in the summer. You should. Yeah. Norway, but I'm covered. Norway. <laughs> really? <laughs> cool. I've never been, but I am Norwegian. So, I told that. Yeah. You were like the Olsen boy. Dad's side? Yes. Oh, Elizabeth Olsen is part Norwegian. I didn't know that. It is funny she's never visited, even though she's rich and could go. Huh. Awesome boy. B O Y E. So, are you, I just have to ask, is your granddad Norwegian or? Is it uh, further much back? further back. Okay. The, yeah. My, um, my, my grandmother and my, my grandmother is 100% Italian, but further back we go to Norway. It's the Olsen boys. So talk. Sweet. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I'm kind of a fellow Scandinavian. I'm married to one. So. Oh, you are? We're going to Oh, yes, you're married to Danish. Mm -hmm. Scandinavian. Wow. Somehow all these, like, super high-profile actors, Oscar Isaac on the right, everyone has some kind of random connection to Norway. It's like... Fairly common. Well, this is a compilation of just talking about Norway, so it makes sense <laughs> that it's on here. So speak, he's Scandinavian. Uh, Svensk, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Svensk. <laughs> yeah, what, what did you say? Yeah. I think it's Svensk. 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 Doesn't mean a little Swedish boy. Oh, Svensk. Poike. 
Yeah. Okay. okay. But you're Norwegian, right. so that but that means Swedish boy. An eighty year old lady <laughs> called me that, so I guess I got the pronunciation a little off. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So um, So you you have a very big fan in Norway who is a pop star. Ooh, okay. And she made a song about you. Ooh. Ooh. What? <laughs> so well, I promise I'll show, I'll show it to you. A Norwegian pop star made a song about him. And she's about to show it to him. It's called YMD, Young Michael Douglas. <laughs> Douglas something burst. Look at it. What the heck? This is by Maya Vick. Young Michael Douglas. <laughs> is this popular? <laughs> this is probably kind of weird for him. Like this is so this probably caught him so off guard. It's so random. <laughs> Can you send this to me? Yes. All right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Looking forward to seeing that. Great that was you. great. That yeah. very much. Be Thank very you. excited that I show that to you. No, uh, Alan. Alan's <laughs> right outside. <laughs> what? This is like so random. And yeah, that Norwegian pop star is probably very happy that she got the chance to show that to him. That's for Alan. Okay. And Alan will give you his email. Okay. And just. Say you want to send that. I that will. Would be, that I will. would be great. Be a kid. Okay. No, I'm from Norway. <laughs> You're from Norway. You're from yes. Norway. Yes. Oh, you bring bringing some energy in this room right now. Thank you. Yeah, my wife and I were talking about uh, Norwegians this morning. Uh, oh. Other than just, just, just loving Roar Utag, you know. I what? Him and his wife were randomly talking about Norway the morning before this interview. What's going on here? I love that man, but. We were talking about the, uh, uh, she had just read something recently. I really like this guy. I forget. His name is Goggins something. Ah, uh, I forget his full name, but I like this actor. About, uh, I think it happened yesterday when the Norwegians were talking about how many medals they won. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 you know, simultaneously <laughs> saying, I wish that we hadn't have won so many because uh, it doesn't speak to our humble nature. <laughs> and, uh, and then right after that, the American... A journalist went on and said, well, but America's won this many and we won the curling championship. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I think Norwegians are amazing. Ah, so he, he uh, thinks Norwegians are very, very humble. Very humble. Even though Norway has won like hundreds of Olympic medals. Oh, that's Thank very nice. Jay. What a good start on this interview. Uh, Kirsty, Norway. They yeah. said German. You've been working with a Norwegian group. I have to mention that, of course, Madcom. Yes. Can you tell me about that? No, it was a, it was a great opportunity. We just, uh, I heard the song they sent to me and I, I loved it. I've been doing a lot of songs with different artists from across the world and, and I'm very blessed, of course, to have worked with Madkind. So shout out to them and everybody. Madkind or Mankind? Madkind? So, uh, he actually worked with a Norwegian, like, music act. Okay. In Norway, they, that loves the song. Yeah. I really don't know a lot at all about popular Norwegian music or anything like that. I don't know much about Norwegian entertainment, to be honest. Hey, did you go to Norway? I've been to Norway a couple times, yes. Did you see A couple of the festivals there. Definitely love Norway. And the women in Norway. Gotta <laughs> love the women in Norway. Yeah, you got it. Have you guys been to Norway? I've never been. I'm waiting on my invite. You're invited. <laughs> I am? Yep. So you have two, three bedroom or? Of course. Okay, <laughs> high five. Let's do this. Let's do this. So the girls in Norway <laughs> want to know what kind of girls do you like in real life? Hmm? I'd say my number one Norwegian. criteria is Norwegian. Yeah. Um, First and foremost. Number two is you got to like cats. It's kind of a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. I have two enormous cats, so if you don't like them, that's probably not gonna <laughs> Is she trolling them a little bit? Like with this question, like, oh, what kind of Norwegian women do you guys like? Don't work out. Um, also, that kind of rules out probably like also, 80% I have, of the I have girls, to, I have to approve. Yes, it's true. Yeah. It's true, it's true. Norwegian, cats, Zach's, Zach's approval. Approved. Yeah. That's good. What about you, Zach? Uh, the, uh, um, Other than Norwegian, I don't. I, I don't know. I'm just Norwegian. That's yeah, it. Yeah, just straight up. <laughs> I don't have really deal else. breakers. I'm not sure. 
I don't I don't think they are <laughs> I don't think they're enjoying this question. I have an open mind. So my name is really Shasti, which is like Shasti? Yeah. I, I don't know the name. Um Christy is easy for me. Yeah. So. Kirsty for Norway. Take okay. <laughs> I was just saying, uh, Norway, they, I guess nine, eight out of nine of the political candidates want to be, have fossil fuel cars gone in eight mm. years or some ridiculous great number. Wow. So I just want to applaud Norway. That's yeah, yeah, I am familiar with that. Norway really pushing electrification of cars. That is very cool. They're like the leader in the world, right? One of the most electric car heavy in the world. It's exciting and just exactly what we need. That's very true. Thank mm -hmm. you for saying that. Yes. Hi there. Thanks for watching my channel. If you Okay. Pretty good. Oh, this entire channel is just her doing interviews. Oh, wow. This was by Yersti Jers Fla, I think, if I'm saying that right. And I like that. I, I did like that. That was it's so interesting to me getting to hear about Norway from Americans. And in this case from rich Hollywood celebrities, which is like a different kind of angle, kind of interesting opinions and experiences. <laughs> Very random stuff, but enjoyable. It's a different point of view, for sure. <laughs> okay. Norwegian, what does this comment say? Norwegian sounds like a language spoken backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? I have never been so offended by something I 100% agree with. <laughs> I mean, to Norwegians, Norwegian language sounds normal. But I guess if I heard it more, I could see that it sounds like talking backwards. <laughs> okay. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture stuff in Norway that I've never seen, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.